it's time to work on my mashed potatoes. So I've got this great big cast iron skillet over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of canola oil right there. And I'm gonna add these spices that really make this an east side potato. On the east coast of India, they love combining fennel, brown mustard seeds and cumin. So the brown mustard's a little nutty, so the cumin's a little smoky with a little bite, and the fennel is a little licorice-y. When they hit the oil, they should sizzle and splutter and jump like that. You know, your oil is hot enough. And I'm gonna add the onions to the pan too. And I just wanna saute them. I love mashed potatoes, and I thought, what a nice way to enjoy a mashed potato, but a little bit different, you know, with a little more character, more backbone. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of salt to these. Draw out some of that moisture, and all you need to do is just soften it, saute it, so I can turn my attention to the potatoes. I cube them, put them in cold water, brought them to a boil, and then let them simmer for about 20, 30 minutes until they were fork tender. Here's how you know it's fork tender. Fork goes in and out really easily. So it's time to drain them in a colander at the sink. And then to mash them, I'm actually gonna use a food mill or you can use a ricer. So it gets this nice light texture as opposed to kind of the stodgier one if you just use a potato matcher. That goes there. And here comes my food mill. Scrape off the bottom so you don't waste any. So for a little richness, I'm going to add some butter. Just a little. It's going to help it brown in the pan as well. Oh, just love a good mashed potato, don't you? And I like that this is a slightly different take on a mashed potato. So my onions are softened over here, picked up a little color. Mmm, it smells so good and sweet. Mmm, potatoes and onions. Pretty humble, but so good. A collision of worlds in this kitchen. A little bit of India, a little bit of everywhere else. <laughs> I'm trying to get these nice crispy bits all through this mashed potato. It's such a pleasing texture. Oh, I'm so excited. So I'm just gonna flatten these potatoes out, let them develop a little bit of a crust, then stir them up again, flatten them out, let them develop a crust, keep that going for a few minutes. Crispy east side potatoes. Yeah, yeah doesn't it? It's almost like mashed potatoes with some crispy bits all over it. Okay. Yeah. 